What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Horsepower Cartel. Today we're going to be reviewing, you know, our subscribers cars. Yeah, let's get to it. So first car we have is a 2019 BMW 330i G20. It's got stage two quantum tuning and claimed figures are 310 horsepower at about 470 newton meters of torque stock is supposed to be 255 and 400 so that's a pretty big come up but it is stage two so i was actually expecting more but it has a straight pipe with valvetronic exhaust would love to hear some exhaust clips but he's only sent us pictures and it looks like he has some front lip action going over there it looks pretty cool i love the color really cool car man this is harsh wardavan singh yeah pretty cool car cosmetic changes front bumper under lip and he dechromed the grill so Cool car. Uh, you should get some wheels. Other than that, it's a pretty cool car. Next up, we have, uh, whoa, big mod list. We have Geo's Suzuki Swift, I guess. Pretty cool, as from what I could see. It looks like the stock kit, but it is lowered with some nice wheels. Uh, he has some work done to the engine as well. He sent us a bunch of pictures. Nice dual exhaust out the back. Uh, good looking car, man. You know, I like, I like cars like this, you know, nice and subtle, nothing over the top, you know, and I'm guessing this car is from Kerala. I guess right. You know, you guys in Kerala really know how to do up these uh, hot hatches. So. so anyways, he has a, it's a 1.2 petrol VVT engine. I thought these would be 1.3s. When they switch over to 1.2. Anyways, stage 2 Wolf Moto Performance Tune with pops and bangs. Wow. He's got a decat exhaust, obviously. With the Remus end can. That's why he got the dual tips. Looks pretty cool. Samoda air intake with custom stainless steel piping. Sick. Triple S lowering spring. So it is lowered and it has 17 inch wheels. Smoked headlights. Aftermarket front grille. Spacers 5 millimeter front and rear. Not bad. Bad Geo. Nice looking car. You know, shout out to my Malus out there, always holding it down. Another, okay, we have another uh, Indian car. Uh, we have a Honda City uh, 2003. What's it called? It's got the 1.5 VTEC engine in it. He said he bought it from Bangalore. It wasn't running. Had some ugly 16s that were hurting the car. It's now fully mechanically restored. That's amazing to hear. Drives like a dream. Let's see what this looks like. So it is an MH car. I don't know. I guess he transferred it. I don't know about the 17s, man. I think they're oversized. I like the intake you got going on there. But uh, the reason why I'm against these intake let me tell you guys right now it's really dumb to get intakes like this in your car especially in mumbai because you're just heat soaking look your intake is right above your engine and then you see the manifolds right there your exhaust manifold so all that hot air is getting sucked in so basically you're actually slower than a stock car yeah when you're on the highway or in cooler climate yeah, you're going to make good power, but if you're living in Mumbai, I don't recommend it. Honestly, getting a cold air intake or unless you get a cold air intake, which goes down to the bumper, but then you have to worry about monsoon and stuff and water getting and stuff. But these short air intakes, they call it a hot air intake back from where I come from because all it does is just suck hot air. But pretty cool car. Ooh, you changed the wheels up. That's pretty dope. Oh, so you, oh, those, that's the picture when I had the 16s that were hurting the car. Okay. And then you went ahead and put these 15s on, I guess. They look pretty cool, man. I like the red calipers. Decent. Clean, 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 clean car. So this is Sunny. Sunny Bose from Mumbai, I guess. Nice car, man. Moving on, we got a car from Anant Jan Janjua. It's a 2012 Laura 2 liter TDI, 17 inch Momo Revenge wheels. These wheels are really common amongst you uh vag guys you know skoda volkswagen all you guys so uh 17 inch momo revenge alloys uh custom painted white they look silver to me anyways side mirrors and grill wrapped in white looks black maybe i'm colorblind i don't know what's going on maybe okay no never mind they are white <laughs> my bad <laughs> i have to zoom in custom downpipe custom straight pipe with a borla tip he hasn't mentioned a tune if it's a straight pipe and you've done dpf delete i would get a tune this is a chandigarh register so you're from up north yeah it is chandigarh okay so yeah cool car you know nice decently modded i like the little hoonigan sticker i would i would definitely look to get in a tune if you don't have a dpf delete because you want to mess your car up and it's a volkswagen product so you don't want to mess it up next car we have is my boy Amr. he's from mumbai uh, it's a 204 c200 cgi it's got the quantum stage 2 tune gfb diverter valve custom downpipe resonator delete yellow stuff brake pads nice not bad ftp charge and throttle pipe and uh 205 wheels and you'll come my advanced port. Nice. Chrome delete. 
Cuned at Redline Auto House, shout out Redline Auto House. And figures are 260, but needs to be verified on Dino, so not bad. I don't know if you saw my 260 wheel or 260 crank, but that's that's still a really nice figure. Because stock, I think we put out like a buck 60, so 100 horsepower gain from stage two. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, if you're looking to get a C class, these are the ones you should get. You know, the 204 CGI. It's a, I think it's a 1.8 petrol turbo engine. They make really good power, and of course, rear wheel drive. So. You're gonna have a lot of fun sliding it around. We have a huge mod of this. This, uh, this is my boy, uh, Jack, from back in the day. I know him for a while now. He has this i20. I always give him shit. Now, guys, before you judge him, he spent a lot of money on this car. I, I am against the whole butterfly Lambo type drawers, but you know he likes it. It's his car. Don't give him a hard time in the comments, please. But he sent it in, so he wants me to review it. So let's talk about it. I've seen this car being built in front of my eyes. You know, of course, like I said, I was against the whole Lambo doors, but he liked it. So you know, here it is. He's got some Lenzo oil wheels, pearl white wrap with camouflage. I don't even know where the camouflage is. Okay, you got the little. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Super chip stage one upgrade, BMC air filter, exhaust upgrade, upgraded suspension, total autocross and Jim Connor killer. Wow. Just got my car published on Auto Car Magazine April 2021. Fastest diesel car competing against the petrol cars. Not bad. Not bad, Jack. Pretty cool car, minus the Lambo doors. Yeah, I see you there getting public. Yeah, moving on. Wow, you like jumped a, a ramp and stuff. You got all the four wheels off the ground. That's that's pretty cool. You got front, the front wheel is white and the rear wheels are black. That's pretty cool. That's something different, you know, you see. Oh, pretty good launch, you know. All right, moving on. We got Roshan72 with his Isuzu D-Max V-Cross. Oh, it's his dad's. But he is from Kerala, so shout out to uh, Malu Gang again, you know. Peace Stage 1 ECU remaps. He's got a snorkel, Iron Man coilovers, base arm stability bar. He's got a bug deflector and trifold to nail cover. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I would get some off-roading wheels on it, some, you know, oversized wheels. But if these are fine, then I guess you can keep them. But uh, yeah, I like what you've done to it. Real nice and subtle. You know, nothing over the top. There's not much I can talk about as Russian, sorry. <laughs> I'm not really a uh, Isuzu D-Max guy or a pickup truck guy. Nice car. We got Jiko over here. Ooh, he's got a uh, Rally Green VRS245. These are the new VRSs. And they come this sick color called Rally Green. And I'm so glad someone I know has this, it being Cartel Fam as well. So anyways, these are the mods done by uh, Karan. I don't know which Karan he's talking about because I know a bunch of Karans, but here's the mod list. AMS full carbon fiber intake with turbo muffler delete. Interrogated engineering V2 intercooler, 034 motorsports rear sway bar, dynamic camber mount pair, Maxton rear diffuser. Let me see the diffuser. Well, that's pretty cool. Maxton rear diffuser. Maxton's killing it with his rear diffusers, man. Especially these Vag cars. Carbon fiber mirror covers, carbon fiber paddle shifters, logo change to UK spec. What the hell is UK spec logos? I gotta see this. I guess they're black? I have no idea. Anyways, wow, that's the first one. I gotta I gotta give you that. Rewo stage one tune and TBS stage two TCU tune for the transmission. Nice. 36 colors, both rear fog lamps, digital display screen updated, etc. Done back. Oh, so you got some coding done. Pretty cool. Nice car. Lovely color. Pretty good model list for it being a newer car, you know, so far. Pretty good. I don't know which car modded your car, but he did a pretty good job. It's got a Revo Stage 1 tune, so I'm guessing Karin Shaw from KS Motorsports did up the tune and stuff. Okay, we got my boy Karin Fernandez. He's got his 2014 uh, F3320Z. Now, this car is very close to my heart. You guys know, you know, I'm a big fan of the f 33 320D and I feel like they're one of the best cars value for money right now in the market, second market. We got a Wolf Performance from Kerala tune, uh, stage two, 23240. He's got an automatic downpipe and stainless steel, I drive upgrade, M steering retrofit. Okay, so he's got the steering wheel with the paddle switch, pretty cool. I had that in my car. BMW feature coating, of course, probably done at Redline Auto House because this is a Redline Auto House car. I'm surprised he got a tune from somewhere else. Car on. Very bad, very bad. You can't be, you know, going to Redline Auto House and getting a tune somewhere else. That's not cool. I can do that because I'm cool, but you can't, all right? Do we understand? Me and him, you gotta understand. It's cool. But anyways, he got the coding done, which is pretty cool. Believe it or not, these F30s, I don't know if you guys remember from my video from my F30 where I reunited with it and blah, blah, blah. I mentioned you could do a coding on this. Now, whether it's the diesel or the petrol, all the F30s come with the ZF eight speed transmission in India. So you can do the coding and it shifts almost as quick as a DCT. I'm not saying as quick. I'm not saying quicker than DCT or as quick as a DCT, almost as quick as a DCT. And it's pretty cool. Get some wheels, Karin. I've been telling you for the longest. I got some 18 inch wheels, so hit me up if you uh, need some wheels. But yeah, other than that, sick car. And I hate the beige interior. Uh, we got Prana Swami's LS430. Ooh, sick. Nice. I like the wheels, real VIP like. Goes well with the car. Looks like you got some exhaust work done to it too, as well. Tinted the tail light. These are the mods. Euroline 19 inch wheels. 295 all around. That's crazy. Muffler delete with custom quad tips. 
Not bad. Custom leather dashboard. Wonderful. I wish she posted. I wish she sent me a picture of that because I really want to see what that looks like. Uh, blacked out front grill. Really cool car, Pranav. Pranav. I don't know where you're from. Oh, he's from Delhi. My bad. I gotta read these. It just says it's scattered all over the place. They're modelists and where they're from. You know, sometimes all over the place. Anyways, from Delhi, really cool car. Looking to do some air suspension or something. It'd be really hot. But I love the Euro 9 wheels. They're dope. They go well with the car. So I love I love the way the direction this car is going in. So and anything you need, just hit me up, man. I'll be more than happy to help you out with this car. You know, I love my JDMs. And if you're looking to sell it too, hit me up. We got a car from cool car that's not stock from Chandigarh. We got Tanvir Singh. He says, congratulations on your new Beamer. Really loving the content, especially the crazy loud exhaust setup it has. I'm Tanvir Singh from Chandigarh and I'm a marine and petrol head. Ooh, he has a really cool car. He's an F10 535i with a few mods on it. Now this is his few mods, which looks like a big mod list. <laughs> Thanks for being that humble. His mod list is a stage two boot mod three ECU tune with pops and bangs, Wagner tuning intercooler upgrade, Evolution Raceworks charge pipe, VRSF decat down pipe with Eisenman performance exhaust, mufflers, quad pipe, OEM performance CF tips, Eibach glowing springs, 19 inch Warsteiner wheels, VFF 101s, pretty cool, wrapped in 255 and a 285 rubber. It doesn't even say what kind of tires, but okay. Cool car, nice wheels, and I love these cars. These cars are so good. My friend had one of these back in the day, and he didn't even know what he bought. He's like, oh yeah, it's a petrol 535. It's kind of quick. We went ahead and did like a muffler delete on it, and it sounded so good. It sounded so freaking good. It almost sounded like one of those V6 Maser um, not Maseratis, those V6 Alfa Romeos, like the Qua uh, Quadrifoglios or something. And I know that it, it sounded just like those Julia Quadrifoglios. They sound really good, I, even though that's a V6, but this is an inline six. But it had that really exotic sound. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what his car sounds like, but my friend's car sounds just sounded like that, by the way. Mm. Yeah, cool car. He said he's sending a short clip. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good, Well, Can you roll a clip of, of the clip that he sent us? <laughs> yeah, cool car, man. Tanvir, really cool. Let me know if you're ever trying to part ways with it. I would love to acquire this. This is a damn cool car. And really huge when it comes to tuning potential because it's got that inline six. It's basically the same engine what the old Z4s had. All right, we got a Civic from uh, Anmol Chaturvedi. Uh, I guess it's from Mumbai or Maharashtra at least. Oh, he's got a picture on the ceiling, so NC face. So he's definitely from Mumbai. Oh, here's a picture of the Valley Run as well. I don't remember seeing this car, but nice steering wheel. I love the steering wheel. Really, really carbon fibered out. Nice color. So here's his mod list. Okay, now I'm really surprised because it says 155 horsepower, 225 NMF torque. Coast stage 2 ECU tune that's impressive I mean I, I think the stock R18 comes with 140 horsepower I guess and, and you made it up to 155 I guess I don't know if that's dyno or to the wheels or to the crank I'm guessing to the crank because 155 to the wheels and this is pretty cool especially out of that 1.8 the R18 engine doesn't do much anyways you got a Mugen power exhaust S, uh, stainless steel automatic piping of course and cat delete ngk iridium spark plugs pipe across intake system evc yellow stuff brake pads genuine carbon fiber steering wheel this is genuine guys not fake 17 inch momo massimo wheels wrapped in pirelli p7 rubber i don't know why people get pirelli tires they suck they're horrible for a country um just a heads up on mall just letting you know already headlamp upgrade i don't know what's so different about his headlamps it looks stock chrome delete he uses mobile one for his lubricants <laughs> audio upgrade f1 number plate and he has lumar tint cool car uh you know i had four of these things back home in america three of them were si's and one of them was a regular civic ex so i like the little spoiler you didn't even mention the spoiler you have on there you just mentioned mugen power exhaust but the mugen style spoiler looks nice it's modded really nicely and you know all the mods are really subtle you know nothing over the top i like the front lip the side skirt extension eh, a little too much but uh pretty cool the car looks lower too by the way i don't know if it's lower but an awesome car on mall hope to see you around man if you're a mumbai car it looks like you're from mumbai but and you have a roadster 77 sticker on there too so pretty cool car all right we got uh, another car from nasik this time a very special car i was actually interested in buying this car but the pricing he was asking is too much and so this car was actually such a nintendo Crush car now he says it's an x5m it's not an x5m I don't want to get enough argument with the owner. There was no X5M back then. X5Ms came out in 2009 with, I don't know what body style it is. The one right after this, I think it's called the E70 with the twin turbo V8, which came in the M5 S63 engine. But uh, this 4.6 V8, the M62 is not X5M. Um, this is the only car in India 
with this spec s royal blue which is the similar color on my m3 i think if not the same color that's why i really wanted to get this car it has the oem 20 inch wheels naturally aspirated it came with 340 horsepower so pretty cool car man and this used to be such a tunduker so you know it's gonna be worth something some someday but for now these don't hold that much value because there's a lot of these cars you know and i've seen other 4.6s this is not the only 4.6 maybe this is the only 4.6 in this spec there's other 4.6s in india and 4.8s as well nothing special here besides the color and the wheels and it is clean i'll give you that but it's not worth the price he's asking sorry uh, it is from nasser so pretty cool car we got another call from keep also an f30 a 2015 now let's see he's got some from what i can see he's got the m kit on there proper m3 kit on there yeah i think this used to be my buddy's car anyways this is keith's car it's got a, a stage two it's got a full f80 m3 kit satin white avery denison wrap warsteiner 18 inch wheels redstein art tires what the hell is that quad custom exhaust with acropovic tips this might be my buddy's car now that i think about it because it has a full blue carbon fiber yeah i like the fact that he did the upgraded digital dash that's pretty cool i didn't even know that was possible in the f30 that is really cool oh he is from mumbai so this might be omar's old car sick so uh yeah man cool car i would love to see this car keith you know like you, got, you should definitely come out to one of the sunday drives sick car Next one, we have Monish Satish. He's a subscriber from Dubai. I'm from Mumbai, but here's my Golf GTI Club Sport. It's my first car, and I got a few mods on it. Many more to come, and I hope there's many more to come. It has an IS38 from the Golf R. Nice. Bigger brakes, proper arrow, because it's a Club Sport. Tuned by Racing Line OEM. Stage 1, 370 horsepower. That's insane. Montec Turbo Back Exhaust. AMS Carbon Intake. ECS tuning spacers in the front and the back. Uh, some red accents to complement the GTI, okay? Uh, really nice car, man. I really like it. I think this is a Mark 7. Cool car. Cool first car, by the way. Really cool first car. I love the AMS intake. Uh, I don't know about the whole decal on the side. I guess that's car club you're part of. Der Volkskreis? Vol I don't know, UAE. I think it's a car club that he's part of, but cool car. Definitely the cool first car. Send us a video of him doing the launch control. Wow. Looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. When I'm in Dubai, I'll definitely hit, hit you up because I definitely want to go for a ride in this. A cool car, Monish. Next, we have, wow, a JDM. We have Tansaj Powar. It's a 350Z. Direct Japanese import, obviously. Full kit Borla Performance Exhaust. Canon full kit filter. Full suspension, build seat, adjustable sports kit, Brembo full kit, brake system, okay. I think they stock come with Brembo if you have the certain the certain model. Updated headlights, and I guess he got the facelift headlights and performance intake manifold adapter. Now, I don't know what he means by that, but... Yeah, That exhaust, I don't know. That exhaust needs to be... See, some people get these exhausts on these 350Zs and stuff, and it kind of gets raspy. Like, your exhaust is kind of raspy. I'll look into, like, an HKS or even a Gretti TIC, like a full titanium exhaust. They sound really good, and they, you know, they give the bass and the VQ35, which is the motor in this. So, yeah, yeah I'll look into that. Exhaust, not a big fan, but cool car. Here we have... Come on, man. He sent me... Okay, big fan of your channel. Love your videos. Dream car of mine when I was in college. So, oh, this was a dream car of his when he was in college. It's still done 40,000 kilometers in the last 13 years. Love the interiors and I've done some modest mods. Right, let's check it out. I don't like the fact that you sent me a Google link for your pictures because that just shows how lazy you are to attach pictures. And I don't want to go through a gallery looking at pictures, but whatever, you know, since you're a subscriber, whatever. I'm going to do this for you and take the extra effort. He's got some pretty cool mods. You know what? Why don't you guys just look at it? Because I don't even feel like talking about this car because it just seems like every other civic i think he's done the type r front end he has a ricer spoiler on the back i'm not a fan of that buddy sorry the whole chassis mounted trunk mounted spoiler not feeling it i like the mugen rr kit it's pretty cool other than that that spoiler gotta go bro i mean you're not running any high horsepower numbers or you're not tracking it to be rocking a spoiler like that but whatever if it floats your boat cool guys just send me pictures on the email because i'm going through my emails and i don't want to click on another link and then have to open up another app just to look at your pictures that's too much work right i I want to talk about your car, Sonny. Sorry. Neil Benny Knight. Niker. I don't know how to say his name, but there's Neil from Musket Oman. It's 2018 Suzuki Swift. I didn't even know they sell these in Musket, but uh, it's got a Samoda air intake, straight pipe exhaust, HKS muffler, replica work wheels. Not bad. Mostly stock. Other than that, yes, I know it needs more low. Also, FYI, from Mumbai, Wadala East. Here are some pictures and a video of how it sounds straight pipe. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not bad, not bad. It's a nicely done up exhaust. But uh, I like the wheels. I like what you've done them. I like the little tire stickers. Cool car, decently modded. I don't know which one's the current look. I guess the one with the front lips. So you got a front lip and you got some eyelids on the headlights. So it makes, gives it an aggressive look. Pretty cool. Nice photography too. If I'm in Muscat, I'll definitely hit you up because I don't have any friends in Muscat. Not that I know of. And that is it for today with the subscriber cars. Remember guys, if you have a cool car and you want to send it as you want to feature it on this, you know, type of vlog or review, you send us your car with some pictures with a nice mod list we'll feature it on our channel you know and love to see what you guys have i know a lot of you guys are car enthusiasts out there who own these kind of cool cars so yeah get back to us i'm gonna be doing these more often as they come in and like i said my state is under lockdown we're gonna do a lot of episodes from home so stay tuned there's a lot more coming up and uh like subscribe and share especially if you made it this far and you're watching i know you're not watching because you know i'm a good looking guy and all but you know i ain't that good looking for you guys to be you know watching the video that long and not subscribing so please go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up while you're at it also comment below whatever car was your favorite whatever car you dislike take care see you guys soon stay safe wear your mask if you're going out see you guys soon